Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to the Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at using the curves adjustments within Photoshop. Now, you may have used these before as a slightly more advanced version of the levels adjustments, but what I'm going to show you today is not only how to do that, but how to get different looks into your images just by using the curves adjustment layers. Remember, if you like what you see on the Photo Show, please comment, like and subscribe in the boxes below. Here's the video. Right, so we're over in Photoshop and I've opened up this image from a wedding a couple of years ago. It's a lovely shot of the couple by the river in Putney. Uh, and it's a little candid moment just in the middle of the posing shots where they've laughed. So we're going to work on this image and have a look at it. But what I'm going to do is just show you how to use the curves adjustments. Now curves is a, a slightly more involved version of levels uh, at, at its most basic. So we'll show you that and then I'll show you how you can also use curves as an adjustment layer to get different looks to your image. So let's start off, let's copy this layer. So let's go Control and J. So now we've got a copy layer. So I've copied the background layer and we'll turn that one off for the time being. So we're just going to keep that as a reference so we can go back to. So we have our layer here. And if we come up to the top here where it says Image, Adjustments, Under Levels, the next thing down you've got is Curves. And the shortcut for that is Control and M. So we'll use that. Hold down Control, press M and that brings up the curves dialog box and much like the levels dialog box if you if you just took this area here it's very much like the levels dialog you've got a histogram here which represents your shadow areas at this end and your highlight areas at this end and you've got a couple of sliders at the bottom this one if you start to drag it in watch the image it starts to darken it down and again with this end here so let's bring that into there this end here will start to affect the highlights, so let's bring that there again. And you can see that it's it's darkened up the shadows and lightened up the highlights. But you can also see that it's moved the points on this line. So let's put those back to where they were at the beginning. And we're actually going to use the points on this line to adjust it. So if we grab the bottom there and start to drag that in towards the histogram, you can see that the image is going to start to darken up. So we're going to get it to a point where we're just on the shadow point there. So we're just getting nice deep shadows. And I'm going to grab the top here and I'm going to bring it this way and start to bring the highlights up. And you can see now that it's starting to brighten the image up. If we turn the preview on and off from where we started, we've got a lot more depth in the shadows. We've got a lot more brightness in the highlights. But as well as just those basic adjustments, you've got all of these um, areas in between. Now, if you click on the line at any point like there you can see we've left a point and we now can move that point this way to lighten the image up and this way to darken the image down and what we're actually doing is it's just affecting certain areas of the image if you look here this is around where the skin tone in this area is here so if I start to lighten that up it's only really lightening up the skin tones and stuff within that area there so if we lighten that up a little bit there and if you did a similar thing here you can start to bring some of the shadow areas down don't think it needs too much on it on this so I'm just going to very gently do that and there we go I've done very little I've made three four adjustments on the curve line if we turn the preview on and off you can see it's made a huge difference to the image it's really made uh, the image pop there's a lot more weight in the shadows there's a lot more brightness to it it's got a lot more um, impact in the entire image and that's really at its most basic form how the curves adjustment works it's like levels but you've got more adjustment points that you can attach you can attach another point in there and start to play with that there and just get different areas and effects but so we'll leave that as it was just there so there's a before and there's our after. We're going to click OK. And there, that's a perfectly acceptable image. We've, we've done a lot of, uh, uh, brought a lot more life into what was quite a flat image to start with just by using the curve adjustments. Now, you can also use curves as an adjustment layer. Um, I've got an adjustment palette open up here and there's the curves one there. We could click that. But if you come down to the little half moon icon at the bottom here, again, in the lineup there under levels you have curves and what this does now as opposed to uh, affecting the in, entire layer as we did with the last 
a curves adjustment. This has given us an adjustment curves layer over the top. So we'll, we'll make the adjustments, but then we can alter them with opacity or take them in and out as we please. So first thing let's have a look at, let's have a look at getting some different looks into this image. So we have our tone curve again, and you can see with the histogram now, we've adjusted it, it's a lot more even across. We've got those shadows at this end, and the weight's a lot better. So let's pull this up here. And you can see the image starts to f f fade a little and get that kind of vintage look to it. You can put a bit more weight into the highlights there. And there, just by a really, really simple, if I turn that on and off, you've gone from that to quite a vintage looking image. It's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a lot softer, um, but that's a really, really simple adjustment that's made quite an impact to the image. So let's turn that one off and let's add another curves layer over the top. So now this is a fresh curves layer. Let's rename that one that we did first let's go vintage let's call it vintage fade so we've got one there now we've got another curves adjustment here that we're going to use and if you look at the top here you can see it says RGB which means that when we're using the curves adjustment here we're affecting all of the color channels the red the green and the blue so what we're making is basically a tonal change but if you do the drop down here, you can see now that you have the separate color channels available as well. So if we click on the blue, now all that this curve line affects is the blue within the image, anything that's within the blue tone. And uh, if we grab the center there and pull it towards that way, you can see we're adding a lot more blue to the image. If we pull it down the opposite way, it's adding a lot more yellow. It's actually taking the blue out, but because they're opposing colors, taking blue out, will add yellow in. Let's put that back to the center. If you want to get rid of any points on there, grab it and quickly whiz it down the bottom and you'll reset it back. There's also a reset button there, but I quite like that way. So what we're going to do, let's, let's do a color grading on this image. Let's grab this and let's add some blues into the shadows. So you can see there that we are added a lot more blue into the shadow areas. Let's get the highlight slider and let's bring that down and that's adding yellow because we're taking blue out of the highlights it's adding yellow into the highlights. So now we're getting kind of almost uh, a, a filmic kind of look from the original shot there we've now color graded it to give it kind of a, a filmic kind of look to it. Uh, we can take this further looking at this I think now the skin tones are looking a little bit too red so let's pick the red channel now and again we can add red into the shadows take red out of the shadows and because they're opposing colors again adding red in will make it more red taking red out will make it more green so let's reset that one that reset it completely. You're an idiot. Right, there we go. Sorry, it's got that back. Right, so let's go to the red channel and let's get rid of that point that we just put in there. And what I want to do is because I think the skin has gone a little bit too red, and we knew that from before around this area here affects the skin tone areas so let's go around this area here and just take a little bit of the red away from the skin tone now you can see that's much better than we was we were just now so let's un there's where we started and there's using the uh, just the the color tones of the curves adjustment to give it a color grading and of course now, so let's let's call that one color grade. For our American viewers, yes, I do put a U in color. Uh, right, so we've now got a color grade layer and a vintage fade layer. And we can have a look at, there's the original, there's the vintage look. 
there's the color graded look. So in a couple of adjustments, we've got two very different looks. And of course you can mix them actually. Let's put the two together. And now you've got a vintagey color graded look. You can adjust the opacity on this. Let's bring that down a touch there. And now not only have we got the vintage fade, but we've also got a color grade as well. Let's take those both out and we'll try one more thing now. I said one more curves adjustment. And let's go nuts. Let's see what you know how far we can push this. So I'm gonna keep it on the RGB channel for the start time being. Let's really bring the shadows in there. And let's really bring the highlights up there. Let's really start to push this. Like that there. Okay, so we're getting really high contrast. And now you can see obviously we've by because we're adjusting all of the uh tones of the RGB, we've knocked some of the colour balance out. So let's go back in. Let's go to our red channel. Let's remove some red from the skin area. Down there. I think we could probably do a little bit of blue in the skin area there to counteract the yellow or blue into the shadow area and there now that's quite a dramatic difference if we uh, go from the original to there it's given a real punchy almost cross process kind of look to it um, in fact let's call that cross process let's call it cross look And you can see, so so there's our original, there's that process. And by some really simple adjustments, just using uh, the curves, I've used no other color balance, I've used no other uh, filters over the top, just by using the curves adjustment, let's go right the way back to the beginning now, that's the original image. That's the original image with a basic curves adjustment just to adjust the, the, the tones and the levels of the highlights and the shadows. That's using the curves adjustment to give it a, like a vintage fade look to it. That's just using the curves adjustment to give a colour grading to the image to give it a, a, a sort of cinematic kind of look. And again, there's using just the curves adjustment to give it a, a punchy kind of uh, modern look to the to the image and again you can mix and match all of these let's see what it looks like with all, all of them on let's go mad and again you know there's nothing wrong with it you can you can start to play with the uh, levels and adjustments of each one let's take the fade down a little bit there What's that? yeah and there we again by mixing all three of them we've got a fourth look as well so Really simply, just by using the curves adjustments uh, and using the different channels, different color channels, you can get some really interesting looks uh, into your images. So play around with the curves adjustments. Don't just use it for um, balancing up the shadows and the highlights and see what kind of looks you can come up with. I'm Dave Vickers. Till next time, thanks for watching.